How's it going guys, it's Ryan here, and welcome to this very long-awaited bank video. Uh, so it actually took me over like four hours today, it's Thursday, August the 28th at, well really it's 20 minutes from being the 29th of August, but um, it actually took me four hours to organize my bank and figure out what I was finally doing with the drop tab money, and I know you guys have been asking for this video for a long time, so that's why I did it. Uh, so I'm all sort of sorted out, and my bank sort of in, in decent order, so I'm just going to sort of bring you guys through it. Um, and yeah, let's let's check it out. Uh, so first tab we shouldn't really talk about. It is the all over the place tab. This is all junk. It's stuff I don't really use, but I might need it for a quest. Um, Obsidian armor. It's just stuff I don't I don't really use, except for that. That is a noted coal inside my bank. So I just think that's really really cool. I have no idea how it happened. It was a glitch with the um, not Solomon store, but the. Um, Treasure Hunter, uh, one of the rewards gave you items, and I had some issue with my invent being full and my bank being full as well, and then I don't, I don't really know how it happened, but I got a noted coal, which is pretty cool, uh, because obviously you can't have a noted item in your bank. That's sort of the point of the note. Uh, but anyway, just scrolling through here, 357k tockle. It's just, it's, it's just random junk. It really is. Items I've gotten from bossing. Um, and just random stuff, Gano, which I don't I don't use anymore, uh, Toregs, extra gloves. This is all just random stuff, so I'm gonna get out of this stuff. Auras, more more drops and things. Uh, Fury, just stuff I don't really use, um, and I should probably get rid of. Uh, but now on to the important tab. So I've this took me so long to organize. Not so much this tab. Uh, this is my potions tab. So I got four dose potions uh, for antifires, prayer potions, all the extremes. Uh, super prayer, that's that orange potion in case you guys didn't know, um, anti-poison plus pluses, and then my overloads, I've also got all my familiars in here, all of my signs, and I can actually make the sign of death, which is the same as a sign of life, but then when it revives you, um, it actually deals whoever killed you damage, uh, which is kinda cool, um, so yeah, all these signs, importance and things, um, just some teleports, and yeah, that is the first tab, I'm trying to make this quick, because I remember about three months ago I tried to make a bank video, and each time I did a th I did three takes, and each take, even me trying to go as quickly as possible, it took 20-something minutes. I don't know if none of you guys want to sit down and wait for that. So my goal time is like 8 or 9, maybe 10 minutes, no longer. Uh, so, next tab. This tab, on first glance, looks kind of disorganized, but it's actually pretty organized. So these five potions and clean torsos, uh, you take one of each of these, and... Did I misclick? I misclicked. I'm so amazing at this one of each of these and boom we have an overload so yeah that's my <laughs> all the basic steps to make overloads and then next to this this is all the extremes so super attack aventos strength planet times and you guys get the point all the way down to here and then these are just some extra prayer potions that i did decant when i get like tons of different levels like all these restores i can decant them and turn them into four doses um now on to the next tab this is my PKing tab, this is my gearing tab. I'm actually happy I organized this because now it's really, really quick for me to gear. Uh, I just kind of go like, I am misclicking like crazy today. Uh, like that, and I'm geared. This is this is my normal PKing gear. Uh, so yeah. Oh, and the gloves, what did I do with the gloves? Oh, the gloves are there too, I just, oh, oh my goodness, I am not clicking well today. Um, yeah, so my life almost ended. I spilled water like all over the front of my laptop and my mouse and my mouse is still kind of a little glitchy from that. It's 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 better than it was. That was like five minutes ago. I have I had like a panic attack. I thought like it was the end, game over, but I just basically ripped my laptop off, unplugged everything, pulled it away, <laughs> toweled it off. It wasn't soaked or anything, but I mean like the front of the keypad was was really, really wet. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad that's okay. Uh, but yeah, that's that, and then like for potions and stuff, it's just boom, 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 uh, boom, 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 and then all my food and my vengeance and things. So that's just so I can gear for PKing real quick. This is all the gear I actually use to PK with. Uh, so obviously when I kill people with dragon boots, they go back in there and I reuse them. Um, all my PKing capes and a fire cape, um, my barrow sets, that should be... That should be right there, don't know why that moved. Uh, but that's my Darok sets and my Varok sets, and then just some Whip Vines and Acrase sets. I want to try these out, but I haven't done the quest yet to use it, so when I do have the quest, I will uh, try those out in the Deep Wilderness. Uh, but now, on to the next tab. This tab is like my PK loop tab, 39 rune plates. This is all the stuff that I PK from people that I know I am never going to use because it doesn't fall into like my, my normal setup. It's just alternates of the rune sets, um, archers, rings, dark bows. This is all cash from people's... Um, 
gloves, like Barrow's gloves and things. Uh, but yeah, that's just PK loot tab uh, that I'm kind of keeping track on. Um, now, these are all my skill capes. I have 11 skills that are level 99. I'll quickly exit out of that. Uh, so, I've got all the combat ones, including summoning and prayer. And then I also have cooking and fletching. I just got, and herblore. Cooking, fletching, and herblore. And I actually got uh, fletching just last night, so it's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah. Let me just get rid of all my PK gear. It's back in the tab. Uh, so yeah, that's that, those are all my skill capes. I Basically, I dropped all my hoods for like the first five or six skill capes I bought. And then recently, like just before making this video, when I bought all my other ones, I figured I may as well have it look uniform. So I dropped one hood and I bought two capes each time. Which actually cost a lot because each cape costs 100k. So yeah, you can do the math, but it's 2.2 mil, I think. So it's pretty, pretty crazy expensive there. Uh, now, this is the, the tab. Uh, so this is what I had to decide on. I had to decide on whether I wanted to buy next sets or I wanted to buy, uh, so that's Tor Virtus and Pernix, or if I wanted to buy God War sets. Uh, the reason for that is, as you can see, I've got my three port set, I've got my Superior Death Lotus, my Sea Singers, and then also my Superior Tetsu. Uh, this is tank gear. This is amazing tank gear. Uh, but the problem is, you don't get a damage bonus. So sometimes for things like Slayer, you don't really, you don't really need, um, defense, you rather you need offense, you want those high hits, you want a better XP rate that way. Uh, so initially what I did was I bought uh, bought all three next sets and then I thought, you know what, that's a crazy waste of money. And the reason I say that is the strength bonus is barely different. Okay, so say you take this Bandos chest plate, it's got a strength bonus of 2.6 and I believe a Torva plate has a strength bonus of 3. So it's barely, barely different, if even. Let's check this out. Torva plate. Yeah, three. So it's 0 0.4 strength bonus difference, and it's like 108 mil for a Torva set. So I figured, you know, I'm just gonna go with this stuff, um, and that's what I did. So I've got two garbs, and actually most of the stuff that I didn't actually have to buy, I had to buy all the armor stuff. Um, all I had to buy from Subjugation was the gown, because I've gotten all the rest from drops. That's why I've got two garbs. Up. They were both uh, drops. Um, I had to buy the Bando's helmet and the chest plate, and the rest I already had. Um, all that. These are my shields. We've got a Vengeful Kite Shield, an Arcane Spirit Shield, and Bless Spirit Shields for melee. I don't ever use shields when I'm meleeing, so that's why uh, <laughs> that's like that. I've got my three Ceridoman Amulets. I've got my two Kiln Capes. I need to go get the next one, the third one, um, which is the ranged one, just because it'll, it'll look good and it'll work. Um, now I've got all of my Enchanted Rings, uh, some Tanking Boots, those are Rage Boots, my Void Sets. Um, and then also my Guffin set, just because I didn't really know where to put that, because it's not something I PK in, and it's, yeah, it's just something I use. Well, I'm making a guide, put it that way, that involves this, so <laughs> I guess you guys can look at it through that. Uh, but yeah, this is the tab that's worth a lot, like, a, a ridiculous amount. Obviously, all of the God War sets and things like that. Um, but yeah, that that's like the main value of my bank tab. Uh, somewhat and then there's also this tab this is a very small tab but it's also it's equally valuable to this one uh, so this tab is my weapons tab so as you can see I've got my Drygors, I've got my Armital Godsword, my Chaotic Spear, and my Chaotic Staff I got an Abyssal Wand I just bought that now because I realized I've got <laughs> an Arcane Spirit Shield and no wands in my bank and it's about 3 mil so not too bad um, Royal Crossbow lots of Royal Bolts well not really lots but enough um, and then also my Death Lotus Darts uh, so yeah, that, these are just the weapons I usually use. I usually stick to the Drygors when I'm meleeing, um, Royal Crossbow, and Chaotic Staff. Uh, but I also use the Chaotic Spear a lot for Corp, and then I use the AGS and and the BGS at different intervals, for usually for PKing. Um, and now, on to the last tab, and believe it or not, I'm pretty sure this tab is the one that's worth the most in my bank, which seems kind of crazy, especially looking at the contents of it. Uh, but this is my skilling tab, so these are a lot of the skills I purchased after finishing the drop tab. So the first one I purchased was all of this molten glass. Once I finish this, it will get me to 99 crafting. This takes forever to do, uh, but I'm, I'm going for it. Uh, so here, this is how fast the XP is. Um, I've got bonus right now, but picture it without bonus, because I did almost all of it without bonus. It's like watching paint dry. It's very slow, but it's also kind of AFK, so I've been watching some movies and things while doing that. So. I'm getting up there, my crafting level is 95 at the moment. Um, this is part way or most of the way to 99 fire making, I'm like level 88 fire making. Uh, these are some planks, these will get me probably up to level 90 something construction, uh, just because I want to get a little more well rounded. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much my entire bank. Now I'm going to show you my cash stack as well. How long are we? We're too, a little bit too long, we're, we're 10 minutes, that's not too too bad. 
Um, so here's my cash stack. I have 137.7 mil in there, which is pretty good. I'm going to end up spending it on skills. There are tons of skills I still need to buy that are buyable that I don't have enough money for. So have no fear. That's all going to be gone pretty soon. And I also have about 90 mil in the GE just doing some flips and things. Um, yeah, 99.0. So yeah, my total bank value... Um, I calculated it out actually a sub of mine while I was right before I started making this came up to me and was like oh my god Ryan I really want to see what your bank value is so I just traded him and my bank value right now is about um, somewhere around 640 mil approximately uh, with the 90 mil in the G 137 and then just all the gear and all the I'm counting all these supplies as well even though they're all gonna be gone pretty soon this is probably a hundred and 80 mil worth of supplies at least um, something like that uh, but anyway guys that is my bank hopefully um, you've enjoyed this video and found it sufficient I forgot I was gonna turn my graphics up before I started it because this isn't really something very uh, lag inducing but it doesn't really matter it's not like I was really equipping stuff uh, but yeah hopefully you guys can enjoy this video uh, one other thing I wanted to say is a couple people who won from the giveaway in uh, in the last episode of my drop tab actually haven't uh, shot me PMs yet or uh, haven't responded to my PMs uh, or haven't added me because I've added them all uh, so I've given um, given money to two of the people but two of them haven't actually responded yet uh, so yeah if you guys want to do that <laughs> I've got 15 mil ready to give away to the two of you guys so um, and that's email man uh, can't remember the rest of your name and that's also um, and that's also is it Nate something or other? Let's let's check. Let me just pull this up. So I did you. Ah uh, yeah, it's you. I need your money. Paid you. Paid you. And Nateman twelve. So the two you guys. I mean, if you if you don't want me to give you money, uh, feel free to not not send me a PM. But this this money is yours. I'm saving it for you. So. Uh, so yeah, hit me up for that. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this little bank video. I'm sure we're at like 13 minutes now. Yep. Um, what else is new? Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great one. I also wanted to give you guys a quick thank you for all your support and everything. I'm almost a 1,000 subs, or maybe I am a 1,000 subs by the time I upload this, because uh, I've got a couple things pre-recorded. Uh, and yeah, I just wanted to say I really appreciate it. It's amazing. Uh, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have a good one, and peace.